Boosting emotional intelligence is a valuable endeavor that can positively impact various parts of your life. Here are some strategies that can help you to enhance the emotional intelligence. Without further ado, let's dive in. Tip number one, self-awareness. Develop a deeper understanding of your emotion, of your strength, weakness, and trigger. If you don't understand what you're going through, you will not be able to identify the real problem and the solution. So have a solution, we need to identify the problem. So you can start self-journaling and self-journaling is a great way to develop this understanding. When you're going through something, write down your feelings, what you're going through, what you're thinking at that moment. And later on, when you are like calm down, you can take a look at that journal and really understand or analyze what you have actually gone through and what was that emotion. Tip number two, identify and label your emotions. What you're going through, you are angry, you are sad, you are frustrated, you are devastated, you are depressed, you are happy. What state you are in? You need to understand what state you are in and everybody is different, everybody's reaction is different, everybody's feeling is different. So you can expand your emotional vocabulary to let people know what exactly you are going through. This way you can actually deliver uh, what exactly you need and how people can help you. Tip number three, practice mindfulness. Engage in mindful activities to cultivate present moment awareness and pay attention to your feelings, your thoughts. When you know, when you are in control of your thoughts and feelings, you'll be able to develop a deeper emotional intelligence. Tip number four, empathy development. Empathy is a feeling of understanding other people's feeling. So you need to develop your empathy understanding to really know what other people is going through. You can put your foot fit into other people's shoes to understand what they're going through. So when you understand what they're going through, you'll be able to really help them or connect with them in a deeper manner. Tip number five, effective communication. Learn the ways to effectively communicate with other people. Most of the time we don't listen to other people. Most of the time we half listen to them. We stop them before they finish their sentences. So avoid all these issues. We have made a video some time back how to avoid miscommunications. We're gonna link that video in the description box below. And yes, you can learn the various ways to avoid miscommunication. Most importantly, you pay attention to the other people, what they are saying. Learn actively learn attentively you don't have to pretend to be listening to them learn what they're saying listen to them and reply to them based on what they're asking you to do don't just reply to respond so most of the time we can avoid miscommunication by just listening to them actively so listen actively tip number six manage stress develop a coping mechanism to manage stress and stress is an inevitable part of our life and we are bound to have it because we are going through different things, we are going through different problems in life and it's just not personal problems, professional problems, everything is there. We need to deal with them on a daily basis. So develop a coping mechanism. Different people have different kinds of coping mechanism. My coping mechanism is dancing. I love dancing. I love meditation. I do meditation every day, twice a day. Meditation does not necessarily mean like half an hour every day. You can also just sit there somewhere and without thinking anything in a blank mind. That can be a meditation. Dance is a meditation. Singing is a meditation. Art is a meditation. Fashion designing can be a meditation. Your work also can be a meditation. If you're really thinking about work only, you're not taking the stress from work. You're enjoying your work. So develop a coping mechanism. Find, identify your coping mechanism. What is working for you? What is working for in your life? Tip number seven, cultivate kindness and compassion. Be kind to other people. You can do something nice for somebody every day, couple of times a day. You can go to a restaurant and somebody is opening the door, you can just say thank you. The waiter is serving you with your food, taking your order and help you to fill your stomach and feel you feel fresh and you can just say thank you. You can go to a store and like the assistance is helping you to find the right gift for your loved one or yourself and you can be kind to them. You can say thank you very much for finding me the right one or the perfect gift for my loved one. You can just be nice to them. And you know, they are not expecting you to be nice because they, most of the people, they are treating them as they're doing their job. You don't have to be thankful about it. Yes, they are doing their job, but how many people are doing their job perfectly? You can be nice to them. You can be kind to them. You never know what they're going through. Maybe their father has passed away. Maybe their loved one has passed away. They're going through a divorce. Their child is sick. They are sick. 
even then they are coming to work they're helping you doing their job so you can be thankful to them don't judge other people thinking that they are doing their job and if you're just kind to them you will not lose anything on the contrary you will actually achieve a lot of um, self-satisfaction at the same time you will feel better about it tip number eight seek feedback you can talk to the trusted people in your life about how your emotion and behavior is impacting other people around you. Most of the time we think we are the right one, we are doing everything right, we cannot be wrong, but that is far from true. And uh, sometimes our behavior, our reactions deeply hurt other people and we really don't know what is going on in here. Speak to the people and elaborate everything, whatever happened, the entire conversation, how the other people reacted, how the you, how you have reacted reacted and let them analyze this and really trust them but you need to be open about it take criticism constructively they are loved one to you they love you you trust them that's why you are going to them to talk about this issue so talk to them nicely and like receive feedback positively don't react to them yeah they're helping you they're doing you a favor so be kind to them be nice to them be thankful to them tip number nine conflict resolution skill most of the day we have some conflict we have conflict at home at our work in our friend circle we have conflict everywhere when you learn how to really resolute the conflict you are gonna be a master of your emotional intelligence because most of the people doesn't know how to resolve a conflict neutrally but be the one be the one who is diplomatic all the time and be the one who can help both parties to resolve a conflict or even you are having a conflict in your life you can just talk to that person when we talk to somebody in a open mind uh, in a calm manner most of the conflict can be resolved but most of the time our ego comes in between and stop us in resolving the conflict and uh, it makes us angry so don't do that don't be that person be that person who's diplomatic all the time can help other people and their life conflict free tip number 10 continuous learning commit to lifelong learning and personal development in emotional intelligence read books attend workshops courses and engage in conversations that deepen your understanding of emotions and interpersonal dynamics that's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for watching our video. See you in the next video.